We learned some new words in the last couple of years, some new terms like quiet quitting, career cushioning, and the great resignation. What did all of them have in common? It was all employee driven. It wasn't about bosses ordering people around. It was about workers taking matters into their own hands. Well, not anymore. The empire has struck back. Salary offers and joining bonuses are being cut. Your paychecks could soon get smaller. Some numbers first. A recent survey studied around 20,000 online job listings. It compared today's salary offers to last year's. So same job, but different year. And what did they find? More jobs are paying less in 2023 than they were in 2022. So this year's offer is smaller than last year's. And last year it was the opposite. Around 75% of the jobs paid more in 2022 compared to 2021, that is the year before. And it's not just the, the offers. Existing pay has also fallen. Around 48% companies reported reducing salaries. So what has changed? Why are employers not paying well anymore? For starters, there is a disconnect. Employees have very high expectations now, it seems. And they have reasons for it. During the great resignation, job hopping was a craze. If you shifted jobs, you could get 20% more. Secondly, higher inflation. We're all suffering it. Employees expect more because things are more expensive practically everywhere in the world, but companies are not on the same page. They are bracing for a downturn. Let me explain how this works. In the last two years, companies went on a hiring spree. We are talking abnormal salaries, eye-watering bonuses. But now the situation has flipped. Higher inflation led to central banks increasing interest rates. The result was this. Economic activity suffered. You can see the impact on jobs now. Consider the tech industry as an example. The tech industry laid off 226,000 people this year in 2023. 2,26,000 people laid off. That's 40% more than the year before. What does that tell you? That the race for talent is over. You won't see dog fights over computer engineers or for IT professionals. There is no pressure to match salary offers or to give lucrative bonuses. In simpler words, the job market is cooling down, the supply is still there, the expectations are still there and quite high, but the demand not so much. Companies are under immense pressure to stay afloat, to navigate this uncertain time period. So what will they do? They will cut down expenditure. And around 70% of total business cost is labor, salaries, 70% of the cost. So that's where most companies start. If they want to reduce spending, they will fire people or reduce pay. The question is for how long? How long will this trend continue? Is this a case of market forces setting things right? Or is this a minor blip before wages recover? Well, we can't be sure right now. A lot depends on how the global economy recovers. The World Bank is not thrilled. They've downgraded their projection for 2024. The global economy was supposed to grow at 2.7%. The revised estimate is 2.4%. Needless to say, that's not good news. For wages to increase, you need the economy to grow. You need companies to make bold bets. You need them to invest in talent. And right now, that is not happening. Just look at the United States. Their unemployment rose to 3.8% in the month of August. It was 3.5% the month before. India's situation is no different. Unemployment was 6.8% in the month of July. It was 8.3%. Unemployment in India, 8.3% in the month of August. That's the highest in one year. So if you're looking to shift jobs, we say temper your expectations. The era of quiet quitting and the great resignation seem to be over.